everyone. So today we are testing out the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Now this is really nice. I love Urban Decay but like lately their stuff hasn't particularly interested me except when I saw this when they posted it I was like yes this looks amazing. I would actually use these colors because like half of them are kind of like warm natural colors. We have some greens and then even like berries and stuff like that. So I tried to play with some different things today. So I really did like this palette. The shadows are really pigmented, super creamy, amazing color selection. Like they really did nail it with this one. So if you are looking for a new palette, this is going to be iconic. And I mean, it's about traveling and stuff, which is amazing because I'm traveling a sh ton this summer so kind of fits with my vibe <laughs> but anyway i really hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah so let's go all right guys so i'm really sorry if it's like kind of dark i'm recording in the afternoon probably not the best idea here are our shades we have a bunch of different options what i'm gonna do first is going with this color right here it's called still shot and i'm gonna take that like this just put it like all over to create a transition color color. This is like super pigmented and very easy to blend. I really like the way that looks. So there's that and then I'm gonna go in with the same color on the bottom so it can kind of like connect. Alright, so this might be kind of risky, but I'm gonna go in with this one. It's called Hellride. It's like a purpley burgundy color and we're gonna put it in the crease and just see how that looks. I switched brushes for something a little more precise. So basically what I'm doing is creating a very defined like purple crease right here. Here is where the fun starts. So then I'm gonna go in with the one under the one I just used. This one is called Wild Heart. And I'm gonna create like a cut crease halo eye type thing where it's gonna be like really defined. Just gonna go in with a synthetic brush right here. Go into wild heart and basically create a little cut crease action probably should spray my brush so i'm gonna use this glam glow setting spray and just do that I'm gonna go with the fluffy brush again and go back into still shot and just kind of like diffuse it a little and go more onto the inside Okay, so now I'm just going to go back in with the Hellride color and define the crease a little more. Alright, so I kind of want to like lighten it up, so I'm going to go in with my Dream Palette by Anastasia. And I'm going to go into this unicorn color right there with the same brush. And I'm just going to kind of go over like the middle of my eyelids basically. What I want to do is basically outline the cut crease into a wing. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, let's just try it. I'm scared. One eternity later. Alright guys, so I don't know what I just did, but I basically like made these little eyeliner things. So now I'm gonna go in and do the bottom lash line and I was thinking of using this Baja color right underneath, just all smoked out. So that's what I'm gonna do. and kind of drive it up to the wing along with it. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush again and go back into still shot and blend that out. Then I'm just gonna go in with punk right under the Baja color and outline my lower lash line kind of as like eyeliner. Now I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Dream Glow Kit and I'm probably gonna go into mm, maybe the sunshine color. So I'm gonna go into that one and just put it in my inner corner. Honestly, even taking it like actually under my eyes too. So it kind of like diffuses really well. And then for my actual brow bone highlight, I'm just gonna go into this color on the end called Breakaway. I'm gonna take that and just put it up here. It's kind of like a satin light kind of color, not really white, more of a cream. This is interesting. So now I'm just gonna go in and do my eyelashes and mascara and I will be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. So here are our 
eyes. Yeah, I actually love the way that this came out looking. Now that we've done that, let's do like some blush and whatnot. So lately I've been loving this blush. It's by ColourPop. The thing is like rubbed off because I've had it for a while, but I kind of like just rediscovered it. This is their Super Shock Cheek Blush. Um, it's kind of like squishy when you touch it, which is kind of cool. This is in the shade Jellyfish and I'm just gonna go in with my finger. It's like a hot pink and just kind of put it you know, all over my cheek, very natural looking. I love wearing this on like normal makeup days because it just looks like super natural, like you're just glowing and I love it, so. I like to sometimes go in though and just blend it out a little. But then after that, um, I'm gonna do some highlights and obviously we're gonna use the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. And I'm just gonna go in with Sunshine because that's the one we used on our inner corners and I just really want it to be cohesive, I guess. So let's just go in like that and and just go to town, obviously. We'll go in with a smaller brush. I like to go down my nose and straight line and just kind of rub it in. Nice natural glow, you know how it is. Pretty much it for highlight. I mean, you could go on your forehead, but you know what, why not? <laughs> Let's go on the forehead. And um, I don't really go above my lip anymore, but I mean, we could do it for the video. You know what I mean? I'm literally doing it in the screen. The last thing is lips. We could go natural, but will we? I don't know. I feel like we need something kind of like corally, you know? One of my favorite nudes of all time is Clay Crush by Maybelline. Looks like this. It's kind of like a terracotta nude. I kind of want to wear it for this look. I try not to use brands that are not like cruelty free and stuff like that or vegan, but I got this a while ago and I just, obviously I'm going to use it if I like the color, but I don't think I would buy it again, obviously. Yep, that's the winner. Oh, let's not forget setting spray. Um, so we're gonna use our Glam Glow Glow Setter. Obviously, this is amazing. Also, life hack. Use it on your hair and it'll help get rid of the flyaways, which honestly should have done before shooting this video, but what are you gonna do? I'm a mess. So hopefully you guys liked this video. I'm really excited to keep playing with this palette. Next time I use it, I really wanna try out like these greens and stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of the palette in the comments below and the look if you are into that part. So I'll talk to you guys soon and thank you so much for watching. Bye.